So one thing I do want to point out is that this battery here is a 300 mAh battery, one cell, 3.7 volt. It does slide out pretty easily, um, but there are some modifications that we'll make here in a minute that I'd like to show you. Um, so that you can buy the five pack on Amazon or through anybody for about uh, fifteen dollars. You get a five pack of, of batteries and they, they last you a whole lot longer than this stock battery. Uh, one thing I did notice, this is a brand new one, never been flown before, but the there is supposed to be, it's kind of hard to see, there's supposed to be a little screw right in here and that's what holds on this, this, this bracket and the, this one is missing, it up, missing that screw on one, two, three of the sides. So this one has the screw and it's not going to move. But this one here, you can see can slide up the motor because it's not screwed in. So I'll have to find some really tiny screws to put in there just so that we can make sure that these things don't come off. They are pretty snug to begin with, but they can move on you, as you can see here. Um, so they can move on you. Uh, with that, without that screw in there, so we'll find some small screws. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you what kind of modification I want to make to this, so that way it's easier to get. What I do want to show you is the modification to make, so it's easier to get the uh, battery in and out. So the first thing we're going to do is remove these. Uh, seven screws, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're basically going to take the bottom half of this apart. So then this bottom half just pops off with all the screws. There it is. And you can see that the battery is actually encased in this. Now this is kind of hard to see but it, it actually makes things a little bit more difficult to slide bigger batteries, which if you buy the extra batteries off of Amazon or someplace, um, it's a little bit harder to, to get them in and out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that. So just take an X-Acto blade and just cut right along here. Um, I find that this does not hinder any support only thing it does is makes it a little bit more difficult to get the batteries in and out uh, as they as these normally are bent a little bit it's kind of hard to see here but they are bent a little bit inward to hold pressure against the battery but we're going to be putting in bigger batteries uh, slightly bigger batteries that you get for a five pack for about fifteen dollars with a five-way charger super excited about that because that way you can charge all five batteries at once without having to wait 45 minutes a battery to then play for 6-7 minutes. So now that we've made this battery modification, there's only one more thing that I want to do. Just to take some regular scotch tape, and I'm actually going to place it over this circuit board. Just like that. It doesn't have to stick super well, but uh, what I do want to do is make sure that this helps it slide. So when you put this back together uh, and you've got your battery here, you can see that it will slide on the circuit board even if it's a little tight, a little snug. I noticed that the Amazon batteries are, are slightly bigger so they, they are pretty snug in here. So they slide on there a little bit better and they don't uh, cause any sort of rippages. The other no thing I noticed is that right here, I think a little bit better light, kind of hard to see but right here we have the black wire coming out uh, not through this middle channel this middle channel is looks like it's intended right here like it's intended to have the wires come through there and that's really useful because if you're trying to slide a battery in and out constantly you want the wires to be out of the way otherwise you're constantly pinching the wires and squeezing them and you could cause damage. So the one thing I'm going to do, let me take off this tape really quick, is I'm going to unscrew the circuit board. And it's just one screw I believe. There it is. 
So now it's loose. Let me get my screw here. So now it's loose. And what I'm going to do is just going to re-guide both of the black and the red through this channel. So previously, the black was on the outside of the channel and the red was on the inside. Now you can see they are both on the inside of the channel. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Now we'll lose the light. So they're both on the inside of the channel. No problem there. So let's go ahead and put this uh, screw back in. I'm going to add a little magnet to my screw screwdriver here just so that the little guy sticks. So with both wires going through the channel, I'm just going to scoop my magnets down. Just tighten it. It's just a single screw. I don't even have to take the, the circuit board all the way out. Just enough and let's make sure it's just lined up. Everything looks good. Uh, one more other modification that I'm going to do is because I'm going to be sliding in batteries constantly uh, is I'm going to take this channel I'm going to extend it into the body a little bit. I'm just going to cut the body uh, probably about an eighth of an inch or so just to create more of a channel to get these wires out of the way. So I'm just cutting right into the body right here and I'm going to just make a little divot into the body. It doesn't have to be super pretty. So if you can see that now right here I have a little divot and what that's going to be used for is when I'm getting batteries in and out I can quickly tuck the, bat the, the wires out oh, looks like my, my battery here, my battery wire came up again let's loosen this Really got to make sure you get these battery wires in the channel before tightening down. That was my mistake. There we go. So now they're both in the channel. So now they're both in the channel. And now when I'm going to be adding and removing batteries, the wires are completely out of the way. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. So now we can see that, that the battery wires are completely out of the way for when we're sliding in and out our batteries. Because we're going to be swapping these out constantly because this thing is a blast to fly. So let's put it all back together and we'll do a test flight. So then we're going to get all the tape off our fingers. Alright, so now we're just going to line everything back up. Now there are these little tabs, kind of hard to see. Make sure everybody can see these little tiny, tiny tabs right here. And I just want to make sure you don't do any damage to line them up when you put this back on. It will kind of pop into place a little bit. Make sure you don't pinch any wires. There are wires, two wires from each motor coming down. All right, sounds good. So now we're going to just put the screws back in. All right, so now we've made our modifications, gotten the wires out of the way. I'm sure everybody can see that. Get them out of the way. Now sliding in and out of your, your battery. A little bit easier. Just slide it all the way in. You're ready to go.